Yo, what's good, guys? Today's video, budget pendulums again. I'm telling you, I want, I want the world to play pendulums, bro. I don't know why. I keep posting these amazing videos. Not enough people play them. I know I got my loyal, 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 loyal supporters out there, but not enough of us play pendulums. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing the same budget pendulum as I showed you guys, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play through random hands. How to put up four plus negates, every single hand, no matter the situation. And uh, oh shit. I'm gonna go in depth and explain everything in depth for you guys. So there's gonna be no questions, no answers, no nothing. You just know how to play. So if you haven't checked out the deck list already, go check out the deck list. If you guys want this list, I talked to my sponsor. He's putting out the list for under uh, 80, I believe it was 80 bucks or 85 bucks or something on his site. Just message me on Facebook if you want, I'll get it shipped to you guys. I don't make any profit out of this. It is uh, just for you guys. And I want to do it for the fans. I know a lot of you guys want to play pendulums. A lot of you guys are, uh, have budget bills or need, like, don't have much money. Uh, hey, the whole deck's under after tax and everything, 100 bucks. So I made sure it, uh, it took a lot of work, man. I even had to take out desires. I even had to take out a lord. I had to take out cards like that to make sure it was under 100 bucks after tax and shipping. So that's what we did. Now we're going to do random hands for you guys. Shrug as well as why it's the best deck. With or without budget, except budget, non budget, it's still the best deck. Bro, I don't care what anyone says. So, we're, this is how we're going to do just normal hands. We're going to cut, we're going to shuffle everything. The next video, we're going to showcase you guys how to do it through hand traps. Through hand traps. So, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss that video. It's going to be a good one. And uh, let's get right into it. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? First card, Fog Blade. It's totally okay. It's totally okay. I told you to play three Fog Blades. It's totally okay. Goose Alliance, Cerberus, Boots, this. So, look at this. This is a perfect hand to show you guys. Why? You play two cards that what doesn't affect, uh, doesn't help you, or do they help you? I'm not gonna show you guys what you gotta do for the situation. Again, we're assuming no hand traps, but for the next video, we're gonna be showcasing how to do it through hand traps. But every single hand, no matter what, is four to five negates. So first off, you go Cerberus. You don't want your pen call to get asked, even if you still play right hand trap regardless. You're gonna activate Cerberus effect to add Jackal. I'm telling you guys, this look, be, look at this right now before we even start the hand. Does it look like a good hand? No, it doesn't. But this is five negates. Five negates. So like, I'm telling you guys, it's not so much people that say pendulums are bad. It's more so the problem is the people that suck at pendulums. More so than pendulums are bad. Dude, that you play around draw on the dual slides. Yes, that as well, yes. And now, Jackal Cerberus. Then you're gonna, oh, sorry, uh, uh, when is ja when is Jackal, you put Jackal in the thing, then you activate Duelist Alliance to get Pendulum Call. And then you're gonna Pendulum Call the Boots. And we're gonna add uh, two cards, one card that we can normal summon. So you're gonna wanna be ready, we're gonna get uh, Harmo and Oaf. More reason here for you guys. There's a reason to everything we do, by the way. So, you add Harmo and Oaf. Why do you add Harmo and Oaf? Why don't you add other stuff? You already have Dragon Pit and Oaf Dragon. If you got this, you had complete scales. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna activate Jackal to special the Cerberus. We're in normal harmonizing. Now, even if our Electrum gets hand trapped, okay? So, we go into Electrum, right? Even if our Electrum gets hand trapped, I wanna show you guys something. Let's say our hand Electrum gets hand trapped by anything Ogre. Gamma, Impermanence, Veiler, it does not matter in the slightest. Why? Because you have scales, and you're getting harmonizing with Oaf Dragon. It doesn't matter what happens. You're going to get negates regardless. Like, even at this point, this searches a second Fog Blade. You have two negates. Just by this hand alone, you have two negates regardless of what they have in hand, plus your Pendulum Summon. Do you see why these are so good in the deck? Like, just alone, they give you two negates now. The deck's not like before, where you need, like, two cards, like, five cards to play. You really only need three cards to play. Like, you really only need three cards to play. And the traps just ensure no matter what, you always have them. Going second, the traps are also broken. I'll explain why later. But, Electrum Effect. At this point, Electrum Effect does not matter. I'm literally using it just so it gets ogre. I want it to get hand trapped, so our other interruptors don't get hand trapped. At this point, you play the Zephyr card, you end on another negate. But we don't play it because it's a little tougher to play uh, for others to play around. So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to send a card that gives us the most pluses. So we're going to send... We're gonna send Dark Worm. Why? Uh, because we get a free plus off gate zero when it gets Pen Summon. One thing, another thing to note is uh, the hand wasn't good enough to utilize Legend's effect on field uh, by popping one of these because we're, we're on a pen call. So we can't pop our Magicians. It, but again, they're the only pensions we had on, the, on uh, uh, access to. 
So we can't even use Electrum's effect to pop. We can't even do that. And again, that is totally fine. We're just gonna slowly plus little by little as much as we can. So we're gonna send the Dark One. Next, we're gonna activate Oak Dragon to add the Harmonizing. Next, we're gonna Pen Summon. We're gonna Pen Summon a Jackal. We're gonna Pen Summon a Dark One. And we're gonna Pen Summon a Harmonizing Magician. Extremely simple style of play so far. Worm effect, Harmo effect. The player on hand traps again, chilling two for Worm, chilling one for Harmo. Yeah, you should have your. Oh, no! That's not good, though. It's not great. At this point, you want to think. What do you want your end board to be? I thought of something else here. Here's something else we could do. Let's think here. Underclock. Okay. We don't send Dark World. We send Gate Zero. With Electro, we send Gate Zero. See what I just. Why would I send Gate Zero? Because you gotta look at it like this as well. Let's say you put pen Jackal and you pen Worm and Harmo. Harmo brings out a monster, right? With Harmonizing Effect. Ha the, the game plan is simple. After you pen summon, you go into Rusty no matter what. Rusty's mandatory. Even if you draw two Fog Blades, you'll always go into Rusty. But how can you make Rusty with two? If you go Rusty with these two cards, you lose out of free negate here. So you're not utilizing the best, of your ability, the best uh, use of your cards. So if we send out a, a zero, what we're simply going to do is Harmo Effect to special... Oh wait, we, we use Dragon Pit. Sorry, that was my mistake. So we use Dragon Pit there. So what we're gonna do is set is this. I'm gonna show you guys. So we, we do send the Dark Worm. I think that's the best situation. Uh, worm, zero. Yes, yeah, so that's still the best situation. That's totally fine. So at this point, so we pen summon Worm to advocate zero. The hand wasn't the best. So we couldn't bring out Dragon Pit. We couldn't bring another level seven. Uh, now Harmo Effect, sorry. Harmo Effect, you bring out something. You gotta realize, these are gonna go into Underclock. And you're gonna have uh, one more card left that you're not gonna summon with. Or even you go to Jack or you're gonna bring out the, the level three. Where is it? We're gonna bring out Time Gazer. Now, you gotta look at it like this. You're getting two more Fog Blades in your hand. You're gonna be setting three Fog Blades. Is Jackal necessary? No. It sucks that we can't utilize the Jackal, but sometimes it's totally okay. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna link these into Underclock. We're then gonna synchro these, and we couldn't use Electrum's effect because uh, there's nothing to. If there was an extra card just sitting there, we would have used Electrum's effect to get a free plus, but we couldn't. We're gonna go into Dragster, and now we go into Rusty. Now look at our extra deck. Next, you're protected on your turn. Oak Dragon's adding harmonizing. And next turn, you're pen summoning everything. Uh, Rusty effect now. You send the second boots. I told you to play two boots, right? And you listen to Trip Gaming. And you set a trap and you banish that, get another trap. On a brick hand. On a brick hand. You have three fog blades, four negates on a brick hand. Three fog blades, ensuring that no matter what, your mo opponent's monster effects are not being activated and they can't attack you. And they can't attack, which means Rusty's saying, even if they somehow kill Rusty, you're bringing it back to any zone you want, pen summoning multiple cards regardless, and Drax is protecting you from evenly at any problem spell trap card. Now your turn comes around, no, but they're not clearing your board. Three Fog Blade and Dragster, no one's playing through that. Oh, Sky Striker, Sky Striker. What do you mean? Kagari's not adding anything. He's not adding, Shizuku's not adding anything. Like, they're, not, they're, they're only playing with the engages essentially nothing. Because they're not getting engaged. Like, the typical way they get engaged going second is Hayate. Even if they draw engage, they negate the first engage, they're never getting engaged again. Like, you see what I mean? Like, even if they negate engage, like, like, even if engage isn't like auto win, even if, like, it doesn't matter what their hand is, no deck can play through this no matter what. Uh, you saved, if you're facing Thunder Dragon, save the Fog Blades for the very end. When they clear it, when they put up all their stuff, when they put up, like, their final Titan, uh, Fog Blade the Titans. Like, yeah, like, they can't do anything after you have this much stuff. Next turn, they somehow clear some of your stuff. They somehow clear uh, two of your Fog Blades, or one of your Fog Blades is one of the cards. You somehow clear one, somehow clear Rusty. End phase. A fact. Bring out this. You, you're gonna bring out this again with another one eventually. Your turn. Draw. Oh, add, pit, pop a back row. Pen summon. Pen summon. Like, you still have, even if they get rid of one of your skills, wisdom, do the same thing. You see what I mean? Absolutely nuts. Uh, to top that off even more, 
you could or with you bring up poison with this, uh, then you like you go red belly in, oh, rusty effect, pop a card, card this uh, four thousand plus damage to a monster, negate a more spell of the traps, negate something else, bring out this Phoenix Cerberus. You see what I mean? The deck's absolutely nuts. So this was your first turn. On a, on a second turn, whatever, but on a random hand, it was a bad hand. We drew two PK cards. Like, obviously, you don't eat, like, drawing one is nothing, but drawing two, we still put a four negate drawing two of them. Like, any monster could have been another negate. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It was any other monster would have been five, like, five negates. So it's like, but four is all you need. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Normal Pensions right now puts up three negates with no follow up. This puts up four negates with the best follow up in the game. Uh, the reason why the, the, the no follow because after your first electro, there's no more link arrows. But this gives you all the link arrows you need. So it's like Master Rule 4 never happened. Playing Rusty. So that was a duel of one for you guys with a random hand. And obviously, normally you're going to just have five pendulums. Those are the easiest in the game. But I want to showcase you guys how to do it even in those awkward hands. And especially for those that disrespect Rusty. Because if you're not playing Rusty right now in Pendulums, like, what are you doing? Like, you're absolutely stupid. Like, you literally might as well play Thunder Dragons without Thunder Dragons. You might as well play Pendulum without Electro. Maybe Thunder Dragons without Colossus. You might as well play... Uh, yes, you might as well play Thunder Dragons without Colossus. Because you can like, play without... Because you can't. You can't. You, if you don't... Like, it's absolutely stupid. I tried, I tried to play it without Rusty. You can't. Once you go Rusty, you can't go back. It's impossible. Once right? you go Dark Spellcaster. <laughs> Once you go, you know what they say. You know what they say. <laughs> now we're gonna show you guys another hand, a completely random hand. Uh, Mr. Caraman Razak, how much time is the video so far? Uh, right now we're at eleven forty-seven. Eleven forty-seven. I'll, I'll do one more half for you guys. Uh, I don't want over twenty minutes, but I want you guys to see the, really the theory of the deck, for even the noobs, just to understand it. If you don't understand it, watch the video again. Watch it again. I'm showcasing you guys. You're going to have hands like that. A lot of people would see hands like that and just pass their turn. See, they drew Mirror twice and he still put Yeah, I drew Mirror twice, but a five negates, actually. Like, and I'm telling you guys, like, even through bad hands, you put this up all the time. And going second, you simply, if you don't want to see the traps, you just sign up all five traps for five hand traps. Sign up all five of those plus a few other cards that aren't needed. Like, let's say two Wisdom Eyes, uh, your third Harmonize is not needed, five, six, seven, eight. To put in your hand traps just like that siding done right just like that and another video i'll talk about siding for you guys for like the rookies more so of the deck more so than the pros they're showcasing us really how to play this deck properly how to really do pendulums with this base pendulum build with a base pendulum build so everyone has access to it now so no complaints or no no excuses if you want to play pendulum uh, you can go competitively the deck's available to you now thanks to yours truly for under 100 bucks after ta uh, tax and shipping so just check out the, my, my sponsors out and get it like it's made for you guys now there's no excuses on why you're not topping all the resources are available for you guys thanks to the pen god what was your question, bro? I was gonna say, what, what do you think is the biggest difference between like your actual build and like this bunch of builds? Yeah. Uh, more so extra deck, like the 60 cards. The utility, more, right? Yeah, the utility of it. I like the. It's a little more expensive because you play uh, unicorn, both yeah, yeah. boral cards. Uh, it's more like those second cards rather than like. Yeah, yeah, exactly, the same exactly, exactly, exactly. And uh, yeah, exactly that. You know, like it's more the 60 card uh, is a little more consistent, honestly. There's more of an assortment of cards. You play Desires and Lures. Even my 40 card build that's competitive with uh, all the money available. I play Triple Desires, Triple Allure, and Upstart. So I should I play yeah yeah exactly that. So uh, just more chances to draw your best cards. Like you have Ducters and stuff, more triple cards, etc. etc. So if you have access to Desires, just play Desires or at Boral Load especially. But Boral Sword is not necessary, but it'll be nice as well. But Boral Load is like especially. That's why I made this deck, bro. Boral Sword itself is worth more than the whole deck. So I'm like, fuck it, let's make a bunch of pendulum lists. Razak, would you like to come, please? We're gonna do one more hand, regardless of what it is. And in our next video, we're gonna showcase you guys how to play through hand traps. What we're gonna do actually is super cool. We're gonna take uh, every hand trap in the game right now, and we're gonna shuffle up and pick a random one and play through it. And uh, we're gonna do lots of a whole series. It's gonna be a whole series on it. So, average hand, cut, shuffle, everything. So we got wisdom eye, Cerberus razor, pendulum call, harmonize. Okay, so now we got a good hand. So, so now we're gonna showcase you guys how to play through with a good hand and how to play through it properly. Because there's always a certain, uh, certain, how do I say it? Order. Order, exactly. Order of cards. Uh, uh, a certain order of cards you want to play through to, uh, play through hand traps. So, at this point, this is a great hand because even with just these four alone, you have a great hand. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to say pen call for last and hopefully not even use pen call. Because sometimes you don't even need to use pen call, you can even save it for next turn. Because Wisdom and Harmonizing almost give you the same plus one effect through Oak Dragon, etc. And so sometimes you're not going to have the pendulum there. But we're going to do up the bottom, we're going to Curtain Razor. 
then we're gonna Cerberus. If this gets ashed, we're, we activate Pen Call. If not, we don't. We're gonna activate Cerberus. If it gets ashed, we're, we're golden. If not, it doesn't matter. If we get drolled here, we have four, three negates through droll. Uh, four negates actually through droll. We have four negates through droll at this point. We're gonna have one Fog Blade, Jackal, uh, Dweller, Vortex. We're literally gonna have four negates through droll. People, people underestimate like negates. Like they're literally they, playing on one card, basically. No, actually, actually. And if they hand trap you, uh, you it's like they, ha they interrupt themselves. Yeah. So it's like you put, kind of put up one last interruption, and it's like you have the exact same hand. You're starting off with five cards, you have four interruptions. Yeah, exactly. Like, you only have one card. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Shout so, out so, to Sky <laughs> Exactly. So it's like, at this point, like anything the hand trap doesn't matter. Even if they get rid of hand trap our Electro, uh, we, we're going to be pen somebody harmonizing of Jackal. Like, it really doesn't matter what happens. Regardless of what, that's why Call by the Grave also sucks in this deck. Because uh, I, I don't care if they hand trap me. In this case, Gamma and Permanent Villain, it doesn't matter. You're, uh, you still have crazy amounts of follow ups. So at this point, obviously, you want to send the Zephyr up, but we don't play the Zephyr in this normal version. So at this point, you can literally send anything you want. In fact, you don't even need to activate this. This is a way to also play around Gamma. You don't need to activate this right now. We really don't. But uh, if we were going to activate it, we would Wisdom off the bat first. So we're going to think at this point if we need to. Because we actually really don't need to whatsoever. You want to look, uh, we're going to set Worm anyways. Uh, let's we set zero. Uh, we're going to set Worm. We want the, yeah, we're going to bring out. Send zero. Let's see here. I'm going to send uh, Harmonizer. I don't want to activate Pen Call. I prefer to save it. But there's a lot of plays you can do here. For example, I got an example for you guys here. You could Pen Call these. And add Oaf Dragon, Dragon and any monster to pen something. No, Oaf Dragon and Harmonize. Add Oaf Dragon and Harmonize. Put Harmo Oaf, send zero. The end board would be you'll have zero pits. No, I, I prefer to. There's no drag, uh, wait, Time Star with level three. Yeah, we're gonna do that play. We're gonna send zero. Wait, then I wanna. Yeah, then we're gonna add back with Oaf Dragon. We're gonna add back to Harmonize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the best play. Pengo also good just to save your stuff, but uh, we're going to send a zero here, and I don't think anyone sends zero to Hexrack as much as I do, but sometimes you want to get a Vortex and it's just easy to do. Uh, what we, oh, actually, I have an idea. We're going to send Dark One. I'll explain why in a bit. Playing playing pendulum is like uh, it's not it's not like a regular deck. They don't two card combo. It's like a it's like a no. cooking recipe. No, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you do it as you go. <laughs> actually, <laughs> that's actually how it is. So like, there's no three card combo for a seven negates. It's just, actually, no, it's actually fox right there. But we're gonna actually do a different play. I thought I just thought of it right now. It's actually super cool. Uh, we got plus and all, but plusing's boring. I'd rather put a more negates. We're gonna send a second jackal. But, so but you gotta read this for the news, right? Like, oh. Uh, Okay, so we'll still, do, we'll still show a little cool thing we can do for the guys, for the noobs. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, put Wisdom Mind in Or we're going to put Harmonizing in Skill. Uh, we're going to pop the Harmonizing. And we're going to add a Jackal. All that trim will trigger, drawing one card. <laughs> and we... Oh my god. We, okay, whatever. That's fine, that's fine. It doesn't matter. That's, fine. that's okay. Uh, I have to put it in my, in my deck, but that's fine. So next, we're going to Pendulum Call... The Wisdom Eye. If we're playing around hand traps again, we get rid of the Jackal. It does not matter. And they wouldn't ash the Cerberus. Uh, and we get Oaf Dragon. And we're going to get a Time Star. Not Time Star, sorry. Time Gazer. Bro, I search Garnets more than anyone. Like, I'm literally searching a Time Gazer right now. Uh, next, we're going to put Oaf and Pit. In the scales, Ove's gonna add harmonizing. We're not gonna pendulum summon. <laughs> One sec. What's the correct thing? So, Harmo. I know, right? <laughs> Armo effect triggers. We're going to just pen Jackal, sorry. We're going to keep the Gazer in hand. Uh, next, we're going to Electro and Thing into Underclock. Next, we're going to Normal Summon because we did not Normal Summon yet. 
which is why we search for this. Didn't matter what we search, we could have summoned off Harmonize anyways. Uh, we're gonna normal summon it. We got our Dragster. And then with these, which we could have done in a better way, where we could have summoned this and searched for Poison and normal Poison. And then Poison would have been in the extra deck, so Gazer would get banished instead of the Poison. Uh, having access to Poison every single turn is nice. With this, going into the Rusty. Rusty now, sending Boots. Banishing Boots to add the two traps. One sets the trap, and then Boots will add the trap. And just like that, you got five negates. Literally. What people don't realize is uh, if they don't have monsters, how are they going to beat you if they don't have monsters? Dragster's only there for evenly matched. If evenly was on a card, you're not playing Dragster. I'm not even negating Engage. I don't give a shit. I really don't. What's any deck doing to legitimately beat you with going through these? Because no monster effects will be activated. Every time they activate Engage, you just keep getting counters and they get the Kagari, they get their Suzuki. Get yes, their yes, yes. Like you, the only way they win is Suzuku. Like if Kagari and Suzuku never hit the field, not even what are they like doing? If, if they go normal sound of rain, yeah. then like, like Engage, the, Engage, search trade. Exactly. Counters, yeah. Oh, they're always getting counters. Yeah, they're always getting counters. Kagari effect. I've, I've engaged in the gate. Rain yeah. effect in the gate. Actually, exactly, exactly. Like this beats everything, and this is you're playing a deck that's under eighty dollars. Like. And going second, you just still obliterate boards. Now let's look at your follow-up. You draw a card. It doesn't matter what you draw. Okay, we drew a fog play. Okay, this is <laughs> uh, the whole point. No, look, uh, whatever you drew doesn't matter because you're gonna add harmonizing anyways. You're gonna pen someone. You're gonna win. You're gonna pop. You're gonna pen two again. Like, yeah. take this in. Rusty effect. If we didn't draw this, which is like you're never gonna draw it. You're gonna get another fog play for next turn. You're gonna ban it. You're gonna effect put boots in grave. Get another fog blade, and by then one of your fog blades would have gone to the grave, and not just it also gives you a free monster on the field for link fodder for the nightmares, right? Like it doesn't just give you two negates on your the rusty doesn't just give you two negates on the first turn. You can literally go like it link this away and summon it back. Yeah, exactly. It gives you. And that's why I said play Borlo for sure if you could afford it. You can link climb like crazy in this deck for free. Like just you got the two boot, two uh, fog blades in the first turn to negate. Uh, one of them will go to the grave for sure. Then the next turn, rusty effect. Uh, send boots to set another fog blade for, to make it to make it even more unbreakable for the following turn if you count OTK. And OTK the, the turn afterwards is your, your third turn. And then on top of you just banish the boots, bring out this. Banish this if they get rid of, if they get rid of the rusty. Banish fog blade, bring out this. Bring out another fog blade, bring out this as well. Like and fog blade on the end phase and on your turn. It's absolutely nuts, man. And with the harmonizing going back and forth, it's also why you play five pendulum calls. It ensures you, uh, you're always adding with Oath on your turn. Always, always a plus one. Always, every single turn. You can never understand the the, uh, the power of it. And then, uh, like Pit, it's actually too, it's actually the best grind deck, better than everything, guys. This is the video. We the first time we drew socked, and we still put up four, five negates, or uh, four negates, I believe, with a great, crazy follow up. Uh, the second, like, it's unbeatable. Both turns, and uh, the second one was a great hand. But both of them were like unbreakable. Both of them. So like you could have even done so much with like when he sends zero, summon dragon pulse up. Yeah, exactly. That was another exactly. We could have sent zero and make vortex and done an even if bigger want, board. Yeah, if you're playing against like a more backward heavy deck, you have two spell and traps. Exactly, against, exactly. Right? And if we know we're playing against heavy backward decks, by the way, we was, uh, we do different boards. It would have been tornado. And don't forget, we also played Narito. So if two fog, but we could have gone into Narito as well if we really wanted to. There is lots of stuff you can do here. Like, Narito beats like all two guys since we already have this for the Melissa. Exactly, game. exactly. And it's too nice, guys. And that's the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know on Facebook if you guys want this deck. I message my song sponsor. You can get it if you guys run under 80 bucks or 90. I've got the number. But message me on there. Message me what you guys know. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.